And hey, how's it going? It is all the news all the time. My name is Felix. Yes, it is. And uh, it's been a very weird week uh, this week. I went water skiing. Why? Why did I go water skiing? And uh, that didn't go well at all. Uh, <laughs> no. And I've uh, I've sort of dislocated the uh, left shoulder. So that's uh, that wasn't fun. <laughs> I hit the water super hard. And, and now I've got a cold as well. Honestly. Um, honestly, I'm chewing up ibuprofen like it's uh, going out of fashion here. Uh, but I thought I'd make a video because I'm getting uh, bored of being uh, my arm hurting. So I'm going to make a video. And uh, what are we looking at? Uh, this is a priority for Robert Downey Jr. Uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s Sherlock Holmes 3. Remember those two? Uh, which allegedly brings in Johnny Depp as the villain. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Uh, moving forward confirms his wife. So it could be looking at uh, Johnny Depp in the villain role in uh, Sherlock Holmes 3, and that'll be fantastic. Uh, Robert Downey Jr., my voice is all messed up as well. <laughs> my arm <laughs> um, it all sucks here. Anyway, uh, Robert Downey Jr., there he is, often leaves the audience utterly astonished with his extraordinary cinematic genius, proving his dedication and determination towards his profession. Uh, the New York City native actor is making headlines for his excellent work in his newly released Christopher Nolan-directed film, Oppenheimer, uh, the... Uh, uh, counter to Barbie. The legendary star has led many successful franchises, uh, looking at Iron Man there, and lucrative film series like Sherlock Holmes. He made his lead character debut, starting with the 2009 period mystery action film Sherlock Holmes, and reprised his role for its follow-up sequel, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. And wasn't there one about gnomes as well? Anyway, since 2011 there have been rumours that the actor is working on the forthcoming third sequel. Forthcoming third sequel. Too many numbers in one sentence. Nevertheless, fans can rejoice as his wife, Susan Downey, is this her? She looks nice, uh, recently confirmed that the film is still his priority and they will move forward with the project when the time is right. According to reports, the actor also allegedly wants to cast his fellow star, Johnny Depp, the legend, as villain in the flick. That'd be great. Uh, we haven't seen uh, Johnny in a villainous role for quite a while. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> quite fun. Uh, so let's have a little look. Uh, we've seen all this, seen all this. Was on that. So here's the actual quote. Uh, this is from his wife, his film producer wife, Susan Downey, confirmed that Sherlock Holmes 3 still is priority and they'll move the project when the time is right, she said. Uh, well, here's what I can tell you, and Amanda can attest to this. Prior to this, we had lunch together with Robert, the three of us, and it was a very specific topic of conversation. So yes, it is in the hopper. Uh, we're going to do it when it's right, with the right people, but it's a priority for the company and a priority for Robert. So that's good. There's good news, uh, possibly on the way. Mainstream Hollywood movie, Johnny Depp as the villain. Uh, <laughs> the villain. Uh, that's an old English way of saying villain. Uh, but anyway, uh, Sherlock Holmes 3, which we love uh, very much indeed. Uh, what else is going on? Well, you can't talk about Johnny Depp without talking about the sea witch. What's she up to today? Well, she's been spotted in Ireland oh, after quitting Hollywood and quitting Spain and quitting everything generally. And when we say quitting, uh, we mean... Uh, asked to leave. Amber Heard, there she is, uh, was reportedly spotted in Ireland earlier this month, that's far too close to me, after quitting Hollywood, in quotation marks. <laughs> I've got cold as well. The actress has been keeping a low profile uh, buying lampshades ever since a jury of five men and two women found her guilty of defaming Johnny Depp in an op-ed, uh, Washington Post, which we all know about, and we all know about that as well, following a six-week trial, which we know all about as well. <laughs> Know all about this. According to the Sunday World, the Aquaman star, God, let's let's hope she's not in the second one, was seen in Ballycastle, County Antrim, earlier this month. Now the question I'm asking is why? Why is the sea witch? Uh, why has she crossed the sea? I thought vampires. Uh, oh no, she's uh, she's a witch. I thought vampires can't cross running water. Anyway, the 37-year-old was reportedly accompanied by friends. I find that unlikely. At a restaurant in the town, Ursa Minor Supper Club. Well, Ursa Minor's a star constellation the small bear uh, supper club hosted by ursa minor bakery school i don't know anything about this a number of social media users claim they saw amber in bally castle while someone else reported a sighting of her in hollywood in county down not the hollywood in america a different one it comes amid rumors and reports the actress had moved to spain after selling her home in yucca valley california last year for 1.1 million dollars uh, it's all her finances very dubious Indeed, dubiousness that goes on with this woman. Um, so if you are in Ireland, lovely place, and uh, you, you're walking down the street and you, you get this strange sense of dread and foreboding, like uh, 
like a fog has descended upon your heart and all you can see around you is darkness and doom and misery. It could be that you're close to the sea witch. Oh, so uh, stay frosty if you are in Ireland. And uh, yeah, stay frosty. Uh, what else we've got? Oh yeah, uh, this is the Belfast Telegraph Classic, the newspaper classic. Uh, 1st of August 2023. Is that today? Yesterday? That's today. AH uh, spotted in County Antrim Restaurant. Uh, there she is, uh, looking like she'd uh, give you a poisoned apple as soon as look here. Actress A.H., uh, who was embroiled, good word, in a high-profile po- court battle, we know all that, has been spotted in County Antrim. It's, uh, I've got a cold here, it's, <laughs> it's like my arm hurts as well. It's understood the star of the movies, such as Aquaman and The Rum Diary and London Fields, uh, which is the lowest-ranked film in the entire uh, review of uh, Rotten Tomatoes, uh, was seen in Ballycastle earlier this month. Reporters say she was accompanied by friends. I find that difficult to believe. At a restaurant in town, Ursa Minor, uh, which we know. Ursa Minor said on Saturday, it doesn't discuss customers on privacy grounds. I bet that's the first time they've ever been asked <laughs> in, their entire, in their entire history. Um, a number of people posted on social media referring to sightings of the actress in Bailey Castle. It's like she's some sort of abominable snowman or something. And uh, People go, oh yeah, I saw her up on the moors. In the, in the fog, <laughs> I saw her. Oh, it could have been her, or it could have been a, a weird tree. <laughs> Another poster she'd been seen in Hollywood uh, as well. And by that, they mean in County Antrim, not Hollywood, in uh, Los Angeles. She's not the first Hollywood star to visit Valley Castle. Is she not? <laughs> uh, is she really? Uh, Michael Fassbender and wife Alicia Vikander. Uh, okay, they look lovely. Who played Lara Croft in Tomb Raider? Did she? Did she? Um, okay. Uh, they stayed at some place. This is the Ursa Minor. It's less uh, pre-possessing than I thought. It looks like some uh, house that they've uh, knocked through. Classic post box uh, <laughs> and bench. Nice. So if you are in this area, uh, stay aware, stay awake, uh, keep aware of your surroundings. And if you get a sense of dread and fear, uh, be aware that the sea witch is about. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, oh, some more news about the AH. Uh, this is from Beatrix Kiddo. Uh, she's saying L'Oreal confirms AH has been fired. Hashtag, she's not worth it. She's not. Uh, I wrote an email to L'Oreal Norway and asked if she was still a L'Oreal ambassador. I want to say that in a pretentious way. A L'Oreal ambassador. I didn't expect an answer, to be honest. But, uh, in crazy words, uh, sorry, I apologise to uh, Norwegians, but to me that's just crazy talk. We can confirm that we have no collaboration with Aimer Heard. <laughs> and this is something that is decided at an international level. That's the way I think about it as well. Uh, my dislike of her is on an international level. So that's nice. <laughs> What's that? What's this? I don't know. But uh, it looks like AH is no longer uh, worth it. Maybe, maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe she's just not worth it. Uh, I've got some video of uh, Johnny Depp here. Johnny Depp getting a new tattoo. You know, he likes a tattoo. And it's a little uh, butcher's hook. Let's see what we've got going on here. Oh, it's the Hollywood vampire bat. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. It's an interesting ring that he's got. Where's where's the ring? Is that the um, alcohol anonymous ring, sobriety ring that he's wearing? I like it as well. Hollywood vampires. He has these um, tattoos in like I suppose phases of his life and things he does. I mean this one with the Jack with the Sparrow, uh, swallow swallow, the old Captain Jack, uh, Jack Sparrow. Um, 
and uh, obviously this is the Hollywood Vampires period, and this is the, it looks like an Ouroboros, Ouroboros, the snake that eats its own tail. Um, so yeah, little stories, which are like, uh, very nice. Um, yeah, and uh, don't forget, uh, Il Puffin Stano Tornado in Arrivo Il Nuevo Lungometragio con la Voce Narante di Lucilla. Uh, we can't, affect, uh, can't forget that, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Johnny Depp is appearing as a puffin in uh, this uh, film, uh, and it's an animated series, and it's coming out very soon. And that's pretty much all I know. If you are of the Italian persuasion, if you could let me know what's going on here, that would be uh, fantastic. I think that's about everything. Um, yeah, that's about everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, let me know your thoughts uh, on the issue. Uh, your thoughts and uh, your hopes and dreams and ambitions. And uh, I will see you guys later.